Hi everyone, uh, my name is Stefan Nicolescu and this is my channel uh, Flying Surveyor. One of my subscribers asked me uh, if I can make a tutorial about uh, how to transform the GCP's coordinates from uh, uh, the National Survey Grid uh, XYZ to um, uh, WGS84 so it can be uploaded in uh, web ODM for processing. So in today's videos, I'm going to show you my method. The software that I'm using to, to transform the coordinates from uh, uh, a national survey grid, uh, in my case, uh, is uh, OSGP36 to WGS84. So I can process it further in uh, WebODM um, is um, GCP Editor Pro. Um, you can find it on the link below. Unfortunately, it's not free. It costs, but it costs only twenty-nine dollars, and it's a one-time only. You own it, and sincerely, it's just worth every cent. Um, you go on this page. You just press this button to download. You can download it for Windows, Mac, or Linux and uh, you just follow the instructions before i start presenting you my method i need to tell you why i am using this method the reason why i'm using it is because i tried different uh, online converters and uh, all of them they were not accurate enough for uh, for the gcps uh, the accuracy provider was only one meter so uh, that being said i'm just gonna start showing you my method first you need to start importing your coordinates in my case is uh, os gb 36 um, you can find porting the the template is uh here how it needs to be that will give you the heading with gcp label uh northing easting and elevation so you're gonna use this format and just put your coordinates in your uh, local grid second of all you need to choose your uh, projection how if you don't know your uh, projection uh, code you can go on EPSG and you're gonna type your projection code in my case is OSGB 36 and the one that is used for uh, GPS measurement is 27700 we're gonna put 27700 and press next after that we gonna enter in this menu the reason why we're not gonna do it, all the GCP conversion in this menu is because the output is gonna be also in OSGB 36. And when you're gonna try to import it in WebODM, it's not gonna recognize it and it's gonna give you errors. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna click on every GCP individual and then you're gonna see the WGS84 coordinates so what we're gonna do you need to go back and you need to download this format and now we can go to the next step Click on the first point, select your latitude, control C, you go on your file, you go on your latitude and you go in the inbox, control V, enter and Longitude, select, control C, go on your file. Oh, 
of the and elevation proceed back to file control V okay we put in the up box control V and this is CP01 in my case CP01 and you're gonna repeat the same process with all of them after that you're gonna save your file and you're gonna import it in a web ODM like I show you in my previous video that's all very important information um, you need to go on select your columns press for cells number and here you need to have 15 digits press ok and now you need to save this as Stop the limited and that's it and now it's good to go if you enjoyed this tutorial please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay updated with my latest videos i have more useful surveying and drone mapping guides coming your way leave a comment below if there is any specific topic you would like me to cover next thanks for watching and until next time remember to keep mapping